So we get an error up here, but hopefully in future versions of Feeds Tamper you won't see this. So our mappings are going to be a little bit off because we're not mapping to the product node type anymore, we're mapping to the review node type. So the only thing that stays the same here is the name, though we're going to add a Tamper plugin to this, but we can remove the description and image. The body is actually going to be aligned with a different field. If we go to the Excel file or CSV file, it's the review column here that we're going to be importing. So I'm going to go back to the browser and I'm going to click remove on the description and image and click save. And now we'll add a field for the review. So the source is review, R-E-V-I-E-W, and then the target here is going to be body. And we'll click add. Now we have several other fields associated with the review content type, which include three voting fields. And unfortunately, at this point, we can't import into feeds the five-star fields. In the future, hopefully, this will happen. And then the last field that we have is the one that relates this review to the product node. And we also can't import a relationship like that right now with feeds. But again, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do that as they update the feeds module. So at this point, this is the full mapping, although we do need to add a tamper plugin to this name to title. So let's go up one in the hierarchy of pages here and click on feeds importers in the breadcrumbs. And for import reviews, let's click on tamper. So we're going to be adjusting the title to add review of and then quotes around the name. So I'm going to click add plugin under the name to title mapping. Again, for the plugin to add, we're going to select rewrite. I'm going to check the available replacement patterns and we're going to copy name and paste it in again with the brackets. And then because of that bug in feeds tamper, we need to replace the capital N with the lowercase n. So it's a lowercase name. And now the way we're going to rewrite this is we're going to type review of and then a quote. And then at the end of name, we're going to add another quote. And then I'll click add. So now that we have our mapping set and we have our feeds tamper plugin added, we can go ahead and import. So I'll click on structure and then feeds importers. And then here at the top again, we're going to click the import link. We're going to click on import reviews and we'll scroll down and we'll select a file. Again, it's going to be reviews to import.csv and then I'll click import. It says it created three nodes, which looks good so far. And I'll click content just to review our new import. And you see here, we have three new pieces of content, review of canned unicorn meat, review of useless box kit, and so on. So the feeds tampering that we did to the title looks like it worked all right. So I'm gonna click on review of canned unicorn meat here. So it looks good, we have our title and we have our full review. As you can see, the ratings show as empty because we haven't added those fields. So we need to go through each review now and add the correct votes and then reference it over to the product node. Again, that's what's gonna give us the sidebar that we've already built.